Hello, I'm going to show you Laura's Syntropic Garden, a tiny piece of agroforestry, Syntropic agroforestry in a suburban yard. It works anywhere, everywhere, all climates. Let's have a look at it. So this is how you grow food without fertilizer, without buying stuff, without having to go and get compost, without having to make compost, without having to go and get mulch, without having to go to Bunnings, without having to go to the shops, right? So this garden here, I'll go into detail shortly, but this garden here has already produced celery, carrots, greens, um, turnips, and many other things. Taro, it's got taro in it, it's producing taro. Okra, here's the last of the okra which is saving, being saved for seed. It's still producing tomato in there. So it's highly productive and it's got cassava in it, which we can see everywhere, this beautiful plant. The cassava is the long-term food crop. Now, it's a successional type of agriculture and it works on ecology it, it works on species succession so we've got a lot of service plants here that are helping out you can see a lot of pigeon pea you can see this beautiful big big sesbania going nuts there's cradle area in there everywhere there's flowers there's the uh the cosmos uh fennel there going to flower but that's food it's allowed to go to flowers. a little bit of senescence on this side for the sake of diversity but the height of the plant equals the radius of its influence so it's not negatively affecting over here it's a little bit of technical it's very technical syntropic ag but it's easy to learn so here's the cool bit about it here's the species succession that's going on which will make this keep on going it won't deplete it'll keep generating more and more fertility so you can just do this without buying anything it's really sustainable it's a very food security kind of thing really big time it's the it's the only way so here we can see we've got poinciana coming up it's going to be continually giving life to this patch for a long time a lot of mulch here's a here's an endangered species this is the bat wing coral tree it's coming up it's beautiful ah uh, the drunken parrot tree there's all of these species coming up everywhere look date palm there's date palm coming up everywhere. So this will continue to turn into trees, become pruned, give more biomass and mulch. It makes its own mulch and it will continue to feed us for years and years and years and get better and better and better. That's a little insight into syntropy in the yard. By the way, the lawn's awesome because it provides mulch.